Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Bongo, bongo. Professor Pineco here, and we are going to play another special demo day. So I did uh, not do yesterday. I actually had a crazy amazing birthday party. Um, so I decided that I didn't really have time to uh play the demo so i have missed one day i'm pretty sure i haven't missed any of the events but i'll have to like we'll have to go in and we'll have to see if we missed any of the events so let's press start at our adventure -da 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 -da. Ooh. all right so let's go through and let's talk to some peoples so you probably want to see in a few days what do you say Good to see you. Okay, so I know the girl over here. Let's just make sure you don't say anything different. Yeah, your corselet is very cute. What about you? I'm meeting up with a guy who helped me out when I sprained my ankle. I'm meeting him in. Oh, one day. Okay, so we're really close to meeting this strong, cool, tough guy. Um, but we didn't obviously meet. We don't obviously meet him today. So let's check out here. Doo -doo. Talk to our mom. It says have fun. That's fun. Hi, let's talk to you. Yeah, I'm sure I will find a lot of sites out there. Just making sure nobody's new here. This lady, did she say anything new? Ah, uh, yeah, Aloha will be a place full of surprises. Because I'm being very careful to stay off the internet. <laughs> we got you. Pikachu's birthday is eight days away. I will help you celebrate. I will not forget that. Except I might. I should really write these all down. I do have, um, I, 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 I definitely, definitely think it would have been a smart idea for me too. But uh, I, I know, I know people who are who will keep me, keep me honest and play in. And I realized I had to start another version. Oh, oh, see, something does happen. Hey, son, this might have happened yesterday. I don't know. Oh, wow, Sunday's almost over. Uh, but I still feel excited. I mean, when tomorrow gets here, you can go out on an adventure. All right, it's time to eat. Let's have some mal malasa. You and Hugh ate a big malasada. Malasada? See ya, son. Let's go on another adventure soon. Cool. All right. That was nice. Uh, it's crispy outside. It's crispy outside? I really need to look up what this food is. Apparently we just ate some though. Let's talk to her. Can be dangerous, they're so good I can't stop eating them. Haha. Uh -huh. Anybody else saying anything differently? <laughs> nope, Slowpuck's still choosing. That's gonna take days. Yeah, it's gonna take literal days. Alright, what's in here? Still nothing in here. Let's go this way. Let's talk to that police officer. Yeah, walking safely hand in hand with a Pokemon. Uh, did I did we go into the police station? Let's go into the police station. Yeah, we did. Oh, I'm looking for the Pokemon that supports him. Yep. Who would look for a police officer when they can be around a Pokemon? Gotta love Pokemons. All right, so. Da 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 da, we're walking through the demo. Da 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 da, we're walking through the demo. What do you say again? It's far away from other regions. Yeah. Got the police officer here. According to my informants, 14 days. Okay. Yeah, you won't be able to handle it yourself, dude. Dude. Was that originally 15 days? Like, do you, I wonder if you have to talk to them every day or else you lose the, like, because we played for three days in a row, but I swear the first time was 15 days. I'll have to, I'll have to quick, uh, watch, watch that part of the video and just see. So you're going to say 20 days. Sure, I'll come see you off in your journey. Yeah, so I'll have to, I'll have to check. I definitely, definitely need to find out. Because if you do need to talk to them every day, I feel like that's a, a good thing to tell you for future reference. And sightseers all over the world come to the Aloha region. Well, I imagine they would. It's the same kind of thing. Like, it's the Aloha, Aloha region is clearly based off Hawaii, and lots and lots of people love going to Hawaii. I've never been personally, but I, I probably won't. <laughs> I'm not a big traveler, but definitely good to know. So let's actually, you know what? What am I doing? We could be charging on our Tauros. Let's go. 
Sorry about that. Yes, I do. I do. I do want to. I do want to go. Let's see if there's anybody new here. You're not new. Hmm. Doo -doo. And can I join this again? Yeah. No. I, I I know we could do it again, so that's interesting. Let's go here. No, it looks like everything is exactly the same. So we just follow it up with uh with some people and ah you know, made sure that we saw them every day. No particular reason. Sure, I'll go back. I'll go back. I just wanted to check. I just wanna make sure that I'm doing my due diligence and letting you guys see everything that this demo has to offer. Um, yeah, so I will I will post a little videos like this. Um, just to, I might combine them all together. I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So uh, I will figure out a way to, to show you guys all this stuff. Um, and I think the only place I didn't go down was like right in front of the Pokemon Center here. So we'll just, we'll just go down the Pokemon Center. See Andrew. Yeah, we'll just make sure I didn't miss anything here. We've got this lady who's gonna say she likes to brush her Pokemon. Oh, I can't wait to brush my Pokemon. The new the new version of Pokemon in me does look uh, very, very good. That's, I assume the Slowpokes are still blocking our way. What do you say now? Yeah. Ooh, that's rare in Aloha. Aloha. Well, that's because you need to go back to Kalos. I really hope we're going back to Kalos. That would be super awesome. Hello. 11 days we can participate in uh, another challenge. So that's cool. What do you say? Oh yeah, I guess it would be hot, right? What do you say? Ooh, interesting. Four, the four islands each with a, a unique charm. It's a very, very pretty building. I do have to say, like some of this, you did say 11 days. No, when you turn 11. <laughs> Funko's not reading the screen! Ah. Oh, hi! Real nice place where you can grow closer to your Pokemon. Oh! We did this. Okay. We did this. Let's see if uh, that old man's at the end again. Let's just double check. Oh, he is. He's there. Mysterious old man. Oh, it's you again. I came all the way out here and all. I know you came all the way out, but I'm sorry. I don't have anything else to give you. Even if you come back again, I still won't have anything. All right. The mysterious old man doesn't have anything for us the second time. But we did save our adventure. So I think that is a perfect place to stop. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, I, I'm hoping to keep bringing you guys stuff and and we can have fun playing these demos together. Looking forward to Sun and Moon like no one would believe. It's going to be amazing. So yeah, I hope all of your Pokemon shine. Professor Pineco here and I was doing a little bit of research just to give us some uh, additional information and make sure I wasn't missing too, too much in the game. And I thought, you know, that guy that we went to see does say uh, something different. So I decided that we're going to go and we are going to talk to him. Uh, it, I believe it's a maximum of five times, but he does change what he says each time. He does not give you any more items, but just in the sake of trying to complete this to the best of my capabilities, let's try and figure this out. <gasps> All right, our mysterious man. I'm the mysterious old man. For some reason, I knew you'd be back. They say the third time's the charm. But really, I've got nothing for you. Even if you come back again, I'll still have nothing. And then he leaves. Mysterious. It also saves, uh, which I think is, is kind of neat. So, you know, maybe the mysterious old man will show up in the game. Maybe something like super crazy will happen like that. Um, who knows, right? Who knows? So I, I also want to know in the, in the comments of videos, videos, if you guys think um, that there will be any 
uh, there will be like any different Pokemon to ride, whether or not you think that will happen, because I think it might be cool if, if that was a if that was something that happened that you could ride, you know, oh, Gastrodon, because who wouldn't want to ride Gastrodon? Particularly, what I'm hoping for. So bah, 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 bah. we're going back up. Let's see what he says this time. He says, "I'm the mysterious old man." Boy, you must really like it here. What's the draw? Can't resist the siren song of my shiny head. <laughs> but it doesn't matter how many times you come back. I'll never, uh, I'm never going to have anything else for you. It's just me here. I love how he always walks away from you. Like, it, normally NPCs just stay there. So I'm not quite sure what he's doing. But we got another save going. So let's hop back on our Tauros and find out what happens. So again, I, I have heard that it is five times, um, and you can come back as much as you want after five times, and it does not change. Um, but, you know, this is like, this is a, a funny little thing that I think uh, people are just, you know, you're going to stumble across, or you're going to have somebody tell you about it. And yeah, I had someone, uh, I listened to a podcast and such, and it was something that came up, and I just thought, you know what? Today's video was so, so, like, small and insignificant that I wanted to share this with you. So, let's see what he says the fifth time. I'm the mysterious old man. I knew it was you. I heard the sound of these rocks, those rocks smashing. Let me tell you, you've become more and more important to me. It makes me so happy that you came all this way to see me, but the truth is, I just don't have anything else for you. And so that is the last sentence that he says. Uh, but, of course, uh, I'm going to check. I I'm going to check one more time. We're going to do one more extra one. And it is a nice little uh, tip that it does save the game for you, because there, are, uh, like that little uh, cutscene we had with uh, our, our rival for this game, uh, like that didn't save, like the cutscene didn't save, so it, it's nice that these little things do, because there is no way to save in the demo. Uh, unless you want to watch the video, I believe if you watch the, the demo video again, you can get it to save, so. And, and to me, that's important. And also, I, I'm pretty sure it was daytime the very first time we played this game, and it's been nighttime every other time. And now it could be because I am playing at night. Uh, or, or sorry, I thought it was because I was playing at night, but earlier today I was not playing at night. So, yeah, just interesting, interesting thing. I'm a mysterious old man. Yeah, I knew it was you. Okay, so he does definitely say the same thing that last time. Okay, so he won't he won't change from this, but could it? Wouldn't it be awesome if you're playing the main game and <laughs> he just like randomly comes up how many people would really like how many people would remember that like that happens you gotta say something so ba -ba -ba -ba. Ah! so i might uh like bah. so another thing that i found out while i was while i was listening to my podcast today is what happens when you catch six pokemon in the pokemon catching challenge and i i i thought to myself, wow, why didn't you catch six? So we're going to go back to the catching challenge. Now you can't get a Stardust again, so that's something to keep in mind. But you can, uh, you can like see a little extra to it. Plus, I do just want to keep checking, making sure I'm not missing the girl. She's a trainer. No, okay. I want to make sure I'm not missing the girl. There is a girl that shows up uh, on the beach here. And if she talks to you, uh, you could get an Alohan, a low, a low informed duck trio. So yeah, um, it's just just something interesting. I thought uh, I'd share with you. Also, if you go into the bag after you get these Pokeballs, uh, does it show you them? Yeah, it's uh, is that it? Yeah. Okay. So look, did you see it flash new? Do you see those things flash new? So if you have never looked at an item before, it'll actually tell you that you have a new item, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's something that I really wanted to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and catch six Pokemon and hopefully they will not all be the bird. Oh, and another thing I forgot to say earlier today, Greninja stopped leveling. Now I didn't notice this until I was playing the demo on my 
other uh, on my other DS because I am playing this de like demo twice, technically one day behind from what today is. Uh, so I just I just think it's it's super super funny. Um, yeah, it's just something that I that I noticed. Oh, really? You get thank you, Greninja. See, no experience. So the highest level he can be is 37 in this demo. Um, also, something uh, very interesting um, that I wanted to point out was Water Shuriken is not a physical move anymore. It is now special. So that's going to mean a lot for Greninja users because Greninja does actually, is usually trained with a high special attack. Also, I don't know if you're paying attention to his Water Shuriken, but he actually has different animation battle animations for every move that he uses and so do all of the pokemon it seems um pikachu we won't get to fight with unless i'm lucky enough to catch one in this grass but yeah it's uh it's definitely a good thing to to notice so yeah so let's uh let's go ahead and catch these pokemon of course you're not going to stay in the ball you little pipsqueak <laughs> So, naming. I think, so what I do when I play a Pokemon game for the first time is I actually don't nickname any of the Pokemon. Um, I like to learn their names and know which ones are in which decks. And that's kind of how I remember uh, what their names uh, will be or would be. Um, and then at the end of the game, I name them. I nickname the ones that were really special to me or the teammates. Um, and, and definitely because I've gotten into Shiny so much. It would seem as if I don't have a lot of normal type Pokemon I love, but I, I assure you that's, or like not normal, like, but not shiny Pokemon that I love, but I assure you that is not the case. So let's go ahead and keep fighting. So I was playing this demo on my other game, <laughs> and I really wanted to catch all the Pokemon in the grass, and I must have spent, uh, it was, it was a long, long time. I spent a very long time uh, searching through this, through this grass uh, to try to get anything but this bird. And I, I must have spent a good like 15 minutes and then I finally got a, a Yangoose and a Rockruff, but apparently you can get a Pikachu here. And I was, I was like, no you can't! I was searching for like long enough! Because, you know, the fact that I'm not leveling Greninja, it really does just seem like a waste. <laughs> oh, so it's just a little tidbit of information in case you want to try that out yourself. Goodness, goodness gracious, Pokemon, you're always trolling us just a little. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and throw that Pokeball. And I don't have much more to say, um, so I am gonna do a little cut and speed up until I have caught six Pokemon. All right, guys. So this is gonna be our seven, or our seventh Pokemon to catch, and it's a Pikachu. So there you go. It's proven you can run into Pikachu here. So I'm gonna do something a little bit more strategic because you notice how Greninja is actually pretty low on health. So this is where your heal balls would actually become useful. So for the longest time, unless you were catching a Pokemon and immediately putting it on your team, heal balls were not useful, other than the fact that they're pink. Uh, so if you use a heal ball, oh, I have a great ball. Ah, no idea. Uh, so there's a great ball the second time you do this. Uh, so, what I was trying to say, I shouldn't notice that when I went through it, is if you're able to put a Pokemon that you just caught directly onto your team and it is perfectly healed, that would be great because the heal ball only works when it's caught. So, now we're going to see. Where do you want to send Pikachu? So we can add to the party, send it home to nature, we can check Pichu, Pikachu summary, and we can check the summary of your party. So isn't that amazing? So we're gonna say add Pikachu to the party, and it's gonna ask us who we wanna let go. And you know what? We're, we're gonna say goodbye to one of our birds. Where's this bird? This bird's going. Are you sure you wanna send it back to nature? Yes. If this is something that actually happens in the game, I cannot tell you how happy I am. It is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, I have been throwing balls my whole life, or at least uh, 20 years of my life. So look, that Pikachu is a fully, like, look, look at him. So I think you can drag. How do you move Pokemon in this? Oh, that's interesting. 
Yeah, okay, you have to press Y to move it. And then, bam. Where do you want to move it? Here. There we go. I pressed B. I'm, I'm still, it's it's very weird watching, like, like watching each screen. <laughs> so that's why I, I constantly look like I'm looking down, because I'm looking at the capture card a lot of the time. So there's a male Pikachu. I still think it's interesting that they changed a Pikachu like this. Um, and let's, uh, let's just see, like, Electro Ball. Oh my gosh, if we have a Pikachu, we can use our Z move. What? Why didn't I use my Z move? Because we still had that item, which is really, really super cool. Wow. Well, let's see how much a Z move Pikachu... Aw, do I have to put the item on him? I probably do. Let's see what running is like. Ooh. Let's see. I got away safely. So it's, it's running is the same. So that's, that's good to know. Uh, let's go ahead and go into our bag. And let's use this item. Yeah. That was cool. Did you guys see that? I like powered it up. It's like, whoo, powered it up. So that is like really, really neat. I'm I'm so glad I'm getting to share some of these things with you. And this is why, like, trying to play completely blind, I might not do the best job. So I wanted to be able to say, hey guys, look at all these cool things. So let's see if we use this dead power. Oh, wow. Why do we have two? I don't understand, but I'm gonna use the second one. Oh, well, that, look at us go. And this is like Ash and Pikachu doing this. It surrounded itself with Zed power and unleashes the full force of the Gigavolt, Gigavolt, Gigavolt Havoc. Gigavolt Havoc on that name. There it goes. What the heck? So, look at how much damage that did on a Pikachu. And that was not very effective. So, let's just quick attack. Let's see. So, let's, uh... Let's, let's see, we're, we're gonna do fine. We're gonna do fine, Pikachu. I'm gonna go ahead and quick attack, and it's not giving me an option to use the Z move again. So you cannot just spam Z moves. So that is good to know. And I'm assuming you can also level up these Pokemon to level 37. Like it is, it is trying to make it so that you can't just stay in the grass forever, right? So now like, oh, you know what? we probably have static on. Because uh, I was like, why are we suddenly running into so many Pikachus? If you don't know, static is an ability that you can have in the front of your party, which will actually, oh, couldn't get away, which will actually make it m much easier for you to, uh, for you to uh, encounter a certain type of Pokemon. Static does uh, electric type Pokemon, Magnet Pulp is steel type Pokemon. Um, I'm probably missing another one that's very obvious. There's not uh, too, too many. I do wish there was one for every type. Uh, I think that would be super cool. Um, Greninja. Greninja. Oh, no. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can just, like, kill it. I'm going to have to use... I, I, I'm going to have to, like, go heal at the Pokemon Center. Oh, yeah. See, static. They had a, a static, and I should have checked that before I put Pikachu in the front of my party. Um, but that's just something to keep in mind. So, yeah, I did want to catch one more Pokemon. Um, just to kind of show you guys. Uh, our, our team's looking pretty awful. Um, let's, yeah, okay, let's just use you. Uh, the chances of me running into more Pikachu are... Why won't this work? Okay, where do you want to move it? I want to move it to here. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> How did I do, guys? Can I still drag? I'm just gonna drag. <laughs> How Pineco doesn't know how to use the menu screen. That's that's what this video is now called. Pineco can't use a menu me, uh, menu screen. It's like you'll just have to wait a long time. So yeah. So if you really wanted to get a uh, static on your team, this is the way to do it. So um, we are definitely gonna use Fury Attack. Oh, I should use Supersonic. Anyway, we're not trying to kill this one. We would like to catch it. That is definitely what we would like to do. So, so I'm going to get a critical. Stop. 
There we go. <laughs> End up killing it. Uh, we're gonna go in through the bag. Uh, old style. I'll do it, though I will say I really like that Y button for the Pokeballs. I just think that's amazing. We're gonna try to get it another heal ball. Is uh, maybe add it to our party, but I would like to check all those other options. Just to show you guys, uh, like there was a lot of options. So, okay, so we got this bird and we got it in a heal ball. So it is gonna come with us. Uh, so let's look. Let's look what check the summary of the party is. Ah, so it brings you into this screen and you can actually compare it. Like you can check its stats right here. That is pretty awesome. And then like, let's, like that's crazy. And you can check its summary. So like you can know what you caught in its ability. It's got a bashful nature. Like, wow, this is, this is really cool. You could send it home, which I think is kind of self-explanatory. Or we could just go ahead and say, uh, this one, go. Oh, wait. I'm trigger happy. There we go. All right, so I really wanted to show you guys those two things, uh, or those few things. And so just so you know, when you leave, this guy will ask if you want to end it. And we're going to say, I want to stop for today. And you do get, uh, to save so that's good yeah so he takes back all the pokeballs he releases all the pokemon we'll get them we'll get them on the 18th right um of november and there you go so yeah oh he doesn't save you hmm uh oh do we need to go talk to our mysterious man again i feel like i feel like that's the only way to do it no particular reason. Sure, I'll go back. Because this, I guess, is because it, it's not the first time it happened. They didn't, they didn't get any items. So, yeah, I'm, like, super enjoying all of this game. And I really wanted to share those couple of things that I found out um, playing. There is one more cutscene I know you can have with your mom. Um, I'm not sure if I can trigger it or not. It doesn't look like I am triggering it. Uh, it, it, but it is, uh, it is a cutscene you can, you can have with your mom, so it's all sweet and adorable. Yeah, because that's, that is the shopping district, so it's, it's something that I will, I will figure out how to do, guys, and I will make it happen, because that's why you're watching Professor Pineco. So, yeah, thank you everyone for watching, uh, this exciting adventure, ah! and I hope all of your Pokemon shine!